This video will explain how to create a bookmark and to tag it. It's very simple to do, won't take much time at all. And since we're talking about social bookmarking and using Twitter and TweetDeck, I'm going to pretend I found an article in TweetDeck that I want to bookmark. This particular in the top center under Flip PD, this article about digital skills every teacher should have, caught my attention. I clicked on the link and I already know that this link is broken. It warns me, it says, sorry, I cannot go to that site. So it's a good opportunity to talk about what happens inside a tweet as well if a link is broken. This person also included that Ion Education was the person who tweeted this. So the link that Amber had included wouldn't bring me there, but I can go directly back to the person who tweeted this information the first time. And by clicking on Ion Education's web page, I can actually go through and scroll down through and find the original link to the article, which was 33 digital skills every 21st century teacher should have. And it brings me here to educational technology and mobile learning, and here's the article. Now, at this time, you would want to check it out to see whether it's a, something that's worth bookmarking. There's a lot of resources in the end of this article. I've already scanned through it, and I've decided that I would like to save it to peruse at a later time. Now, I felt that this particular paragraph kind of describes exactly what's in this article. It's important as part of bookmarking, if you find a bit of text or a paragraph that you think makes a good description, highlight that before you bookmark. I'm going to go up to my Digo toolbar up here on my browser's toolbar to bookmark. And again, I've already signed in because my Digo toolbar is active. If it's not signed in, you'll see sign in on the left. You have to be signed in. And I'm going to hit bookmark. And what Digo does now is take the text that I have here highlighted, puts that into the description. It's pulled the title off the page. If I wanted to make any changes to this at any time, I would do it right now. And down here they have recommended tags. So I've clicked 21st century skills, technology, ed tech, resources, and web 2.0. Tags are important because it allows you to sort and search through your bookmarks. If you have a lot of bookmarks in Digo, by searching a certain tag, you can sort through all the bookmarks you've ever made just by that tag. So for example, this one will be tagged Web 2.0. If I want to find just things on Web 2.0, I could go and search the tags of Web 2.0. This article will come out of all my bookmarks. Now, more options may not be open for you, but you can add it to Read Later, which is a special list within um, Digo. You can make lists in Digo that would um, you can categorize that to and add it to a special list. We're going to talk about uh, groups and lists later, but you can add it to a group as well, and you can then mark this for something that you want to tweet. But for now, we're just going to hit Save, and it's going to go right to our Digo library. One quick way to look at your library is to go to the Digo toolbar here. Go down to My Library, and you'll go to the main page of your library, and here's the article web page that I just bookmarked. Simple as that.